I'm on Linwood. Look at the Lee Tower. Can you see it? Right there. The Lee, not Tower, the Lee Plaza. I hope they fix that building up. I'm on Linwood and Euclid. Right behind me is New Bethel, Aretha Franklin's church. They got the mural for it right there. So, uh, it's a lot of chitter chatter going on on the internet recently about uh, CDs making a comeback. And a lot of folks are talking about digital versus physical. I want to chop it up a little bit about that. Ride through the city and do my thing. I saw on uh, T Barb's Instagram the other day that it was some chickens around Detroit. I had no idea. Boy, this city is going country as hell. Oh, boy, a nice ass pop. Let me see if he'll buy a copy of the house. What up, though, family? How you doing? Hey, uh, sorry for interrupting you, family. I just had to holler at you. This is nice to have some pop. My name's Joe Kwan. I'm on the ground rap artist from Detroit. I'm here with my album. It's called Operation Minecraft. Got uh, 10 songs and I wrote the dudes from selling them today. I'm letting them go for $10. If you'd like to hear it. I got my music videos on the phone. I produced them myself. I was hoping I'd get some about the support. Yep, yep. yep. I appreciate that support, fam. I've been checking out the keyword search term on YouTube, selling CDs. And I noticed that particularly within like the last year, there's been a lot of videos of cats talking about selling their CDs on the streets and discussing the pros and cons of digital versus physical music. And you motherfuckers ain't giving me my props. I know you research this shit before you talk about it. And I know that if you type in selling CDs in the streets in the YouTube search engine, at least five Joe Kwanda Hooligan videos are gonna come out. I'm no Johnny come lately. I've been doing this for a long time and I've got at least five years worth of videos of me selling CDs on the street. So next motherfucker to shoot a video talking about selling CDs on the streets and don't give Joe Kwanda Hooligan his props, I'm gonna be very angry with you. And then I'm going to write you a letter telling you how angry I am with you. This is what I'm spending y'all rap money on. May I have one of your finest minis, please? One of your finest minis. Thank you, Dick Hindsight. That's what I'm spending y'all money on when y'all buy my CDs. My mom CD love it in the house. What up, girl? So let me show y'all something real quick as far as uh, digital versus physical music sales so this is what i made yesterday on the internet hold on let me get on my page here all right let me fill this camera around this is what i made yesterday a full whopping one dollar and 19 cents and i don't even know where that's from yet because you you have to wait uh uh three months so it's not it's not like this came in yesterday this is probably a few months ago but uh, hold on, let me turn this camera back on. There we go. But that's what I made yesterday in the past 24 hours. Now, uh, in the past 24 minutes at the gas station, I got these few little books. This is just like two sales at the gas station just uh, about 20 something minutes ago. Just selling physical copies of my album. Now, I know that it's possible to make a lot of money on the internet. And there are dudes out there that are making a killing. There was this one dude, uh, I forgot his name, but he was kind of weird to me because he kept referring to himself in the third person. And that's okay if you're doing a blog, but if you're talking to somebody, if I'm talking to you, I'm like, yeah, Joe Kwan the Hooligan don't have to do this because Joe Kwan the Hooligan, like, that shit is weird as hell to me. But anyway, he uh, was telling me that he makes 10 cents per stream on YouTube. And I said, nigga, prove it. I don't believe you. So he actually showed me his uh, distro kid uh, back page. And it didn't look like 10 cents a, a stream, but it was some pretty decent little money. It still ain't the money that I make selling CDs on the streets. But it's enough to where I could focus a little bit more on promoting on the Internet. And where I would, it, it would be beneficial to me to run a few Google ads and stuff like that. If I was making that kind of money, but I'm not making that kind of money. So it's more beneficial for me to put my money on 
shit that I need for selling CDs on the street, such as logistics, maintenance of the vehicle, physical products, CDs, uh, prints, stuff like that. Eventually, I might just uh, blow up on the internet all of a sudden. I don't know. You never know how this shit happens. But for right now, the streets, for me, is where it's at. I understand. What up, though, Yusuf? Mr. Yusuf Secure, ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of Zone 8, as I've told you in many video blogs before. This is the Zone 8 neighborhood. And uh, shouts out to the homie Yusuf Secure. And if Zone 8 was a city, I would consider Yusuf to be the mayor. This man right here is the mayor of Zone 8. What's good with you, brother? Yeah, you can find me on YouTube. I'm uh, shooting for YouTube right now. Good to see you. So I, I, I got to uh, go finish up this blog and finish up this sales route. But this man is the mayor of uh, you. Uh, I'm sorry, not of YouTube, of Zone 8. Check out the video, one of my favorite songs, Redemption Road. With uh, Tab and uh, uh, who was that, Ron D? Ron D from Hypnotic Records. This man is a supporter, as you can see, of Detroit Hip Hop. Look him up. Activist, community activist, and just outright good fella. That's my dog there. Yusuf Shakur, ladies and gentlemen. So we on Grand Boulevard, the home of the Motown Empire, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I do this, baby. Detroit City. This is exactly why I do this. Motown legacy. Independent black music. Live from the biggest, blackest poorest city in the United States of America, Detroit, Michigan, baby. Gotta love it. Uh, there are some benefits to digital distribution of your music for independent recording artists. Example, your music is all over the world. Like I got folks playing my music in Belize, Russia, England, Australia, Canada. So you got that going for you. Right. Uh, I'm trying to think of some shit here to, to sell the benefits of digital distribution for recording artists other than the fact that you have your shit available on these streaming platforms but it's I'm, okay like if I sell that dude right there a copy of the CD every time he plays a song on his CD player I don't get paid but every time he plays a song on his phone I get paid. At least I hope I get paid. I hope you motherfuckers is giving me my damn money, but it's difficult to think of some shit of, particularly for myself, of how it's beneficial for me to promote more digitally than it is physically. I mean, like, even with my website. Like, I sell MP3s on my website, right? But... Who the hell wants to store shit on their phone like that? I mean, you got all your videos, your your pictures and shit, and your contacts and, and your games and all that shit. Who really wants to be buying extra storage space on their phone to listen to a goddamn song? You can just go on YouTube and find it. Just like that. You ain't got to be storing it all in your phone. I'm trying to think of something beneficial here for the... Um, all right. Come on, size fellas. How y'all doing? My name's Joe Quan, fellas. I'm an underground rap artist from Detroit. I'm here with my album today, y'all. It's called Operation Mind Crime. I got 10 songs that I wrote for dudes. It's nice and trade music. I'm selling them today. I'm letting them go for $10 if you'd like to hear it. I got my music videos on my phone. I was hoping I'd get y'all love and support. I'll tell you what, I better let you grab one for $5. Help us get the record out here. It's a good local. We can use your help. It's all me. Yup, yup. Gracias, amigo. Si. So I'm on Living Noise and Otis. They hooking up the store. It used to be a store right there. Uh, about 10 years ago and it looks like they rebuilding it I really need that location for my living noise sales run I hope they get that bad boy back up sometimes I just gotta give you that sales pitch video raw and uncut 
not edit it, you know, just to, just so you can check out the possibility, you know, how, how short of a time it takes to make 20, 10, 5, two dollars off of music that you wrote and produced it's a pretty good feeling i can tell you that the internet does have possibilities for a lot of artists just have to know your way around manipulating the algorithm and if you can master that you might just make yourself a decent living but i recommend uh merchandising performing getting your royalties from performing i, I think it pays better than relying on streams a lot of folks think that it's just about streams the other day i'm selling cds on schaefer and nine mile god telling me hey man you should be promoting it in facebook groups <laughs> he locked himself out of this car by the way <laughs> and he didn't buy a cd a lot of these guys they just use this as an excuse and i wouldn't want to market to fans like that because i think they're lazy horrible fans they make the music business not worth it because it fills the game with a whole bunch of guys that just want to hurry up and get a song done so they can get it out and be the hot thing next week i don't want to take my music that way i want my shit to be classic timeless so eventually maybe the internet will work for a little low me i watch videos on youtube all the time about making money from your music and I'm not really satisfied with what these guys is showing. And it's like she lifts up her blouse, but I didn't see her nipple. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, until next time, folks, if you haven't visited Detroit, come on, visit it. It's a great town. This is my community. That's the church I got married in. And my family ain't shit because they got me drunk and high way before i walked up in that church that day I, I arrived like just get me to the church all the time <laughs> your friendly neighborhood rap dealer joe kwanda hooligan how to get turned this thing off